What's good guys? It's your boy Justin J coming to you with another video. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into the video, boys. Okay, five dating app tips to give you a better experience on this dating app journey you're on. Guys, when you use a dating app, there's no shame in it. It's just that it feels shameful because you're using it wrong. You might swipe on a bunch of girls or you might, you know, reach out to a bunch of girls and you're not hearing anything back. So that makes you get down on yourself. And you're like, this doesn't work. I don't wanna use any of these anymore. Guys, I got it covered. Let's get into it. Okay, number one, guys, you need to be mysterious yet inviting with your profile pictures. You have to have a picture showing your back, but making you look cold. Maybe a picture from the back where you're like with a coat and you're just looking over your shoulder or something like that. You wanna have a picture of you involving yourself in some type of physical fitness. I mean, if you don't do fitness, it's okay, guys, but try to have a picture of you doing something physical that might you know, show off your traps or show off a body part that just catches the eye. Guys, you want to show your life in a way that you don't show too much, but you show that you're that dude. You show that you have hobbies. You show that you know how to dress. Guys, all of this stuff is inviting, but the mystery comes from having half of your face in a picture like this. You know what I mean? Guys, no selfies, because selfies, they don't breed mystery. What they breed is this guy is just like me, and she needs to know that you're that dope dude. There's no better way to do that than to give her a glimpse of your life. If you like snowboarding, you put a picture of you snowboarding. If you have a dog, you put a picture of you and your dog. Works like a charm, guys. You have to remember that being mysterious is going to do this thing in her mind where she's like, okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm reading the profile. There's more than meets the eye here. I have to figure out, I have to investigate. Women are detectives, remember that guys. And the whole inviting part guys, a woman cannot help but be drawn to a man who is somehow inviting without inviting. Remember that guys. Number two, guys, show off your cooking skills. I don't care if you even have beginner cooking skills. You can only make spaghetti and meatballs. Guys, take a nice picture, top it off with some parsley or whatever. Guys, make the picture look nice. Women are going to comment on it. And when they ask you, yes, guys, tell them that you can cook. Even if you cook as your occupation, that is perfect to put on your dating profile, guys, because you kill two birds with one stone. She knows that you can cook. She likes to eat. First date, where do people usually tend to go? Exactly, people sit down and eat. We can avoid all of that. You can come here, we can sit down, we can eat, we can drink a little bit of wine, we can make things happen. You would be surprised. Men do know how to cook, but men rarely cook for women. And a lot of women can't cook. So when you cook for a woman, it's not a big deal to you, but trust and believe it's a big deal to her. Number three, guys, it's gonna be as simple as this. Use voice memos, use video calling. Let me explain. Guys, when she first initially reaches out to you or you reach out to her first, she's going to send you a message back and then you are going to send a voice memo. Guys, when a woman sees you, when she hears you, she gets more comfortable. You know what I mean? A lot of guys are wondering why they can't get a girl back to their house on the first date. FaceTime or a video call is the first impression, guys, before the date. So a woman can feel completely comfortable with you before she even meets you in person. She will be willing to come to your house. She will be accepting of coming to your house. She won't give you as much resistance. Guys, not all women, but some women are going to tell you, hey, I don't wanna meet up at your house for the first date. Now with that honesty, you can move it forward like, I'm either gonna charge her to the game or I'm gonna take the first date and see where it goes from here. But the ball's in your court. Remember guys, this dating game is about you. Women have horror stories. Guys, pay attention. This dating game is in your favor. You just have to know how to use these little tips and tricks. Number four, keep it simple, guys. This is how it goes, so simple. You hit the ball, she hits the ball. You hit the ball, she hits the ball. You hit the ball, she hits the ball. Set the date. Straight like that, guys. You want to set the date as soon as possible to meet up with this woman because here's how it goes. You can set a date with her Monday, give the app a break, use the app when you get home, get a couple of matches, line up another date, 
for the next day or the day after or the day after that day guys you get what you are you following me guys you are able to date multiple women at once the problem is guys they get reciprocated energy or they think and they put all their eggs in one basket the moment this girl flakes the moment this girl gives any resistance it kind of makes the guy feel bad about himself he does not want to be on the app anymore and he's just like why do i need dating guys you worry less about one woman when you're talking to multiple women it's going to get to the point where you have to take a break you have so many dates lined up you have so many women texting your phone you're going to be on a date with one getting confirmation for your next dates you're going to be getting calls text messages from girls while you're on the date think about it guys you have no time to stop and think about one girl a girl can reject you two girls three girls four girls can reject you while you have eight dates lined up do you think that that's gonna sting that bad do you think you're even gonna care you're gonna be like more time and energy for me to put into getting other dates and number five you actually have to pay for the app yes guys unfortunately you do but what's 20 30 dollars guys to build a rotation of women that will come straight to your house and in between those guys Dating is actually fun because dating is for you. I don't look at going out on a date as it's for her to shine. I'm going to my favorite restaurant where people know me, where I have status, where I can talk to everybody, let them see my face. You know what I mean? Enjoy a good meal and enjoy some companionship, enjoy some company. But never is it about her. Never am I worried about where she wants to go, what she wants to do, what she wants to wear. You know what I mean? No, 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 guys. You're going to have the best experiences on dates when you look at it from a standpoint of, hey, I really want to go to this place tonight and I was going to go there anyway. Would you like to join me? Oh, sounds like it's going to be a dope evening. Guys, keep everything like that. Women are going to have so much fun with you. They're going to be like, I'm so glad I matched with this guy. And that was the five dating app tips to hopefully help you get more matches. It's your boy, Justin J. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Get with your boys in the next video. Let's go.